back again. This is going to be a fairly long night making videos. Can't stream, internet's still poor. But, you've seen the video title. Some news surrounding uh, these kind of uh, mental breakdown, mental collapse, presidential launch, uh, launch his presidential campaign, a lot. But by the looks of it, Mila Yiannopoulos has gone. He is no longer part of Yi 24. So one of, by his left arm? No, he was definitely his right arm. Fuentes is his left arm. Even though uh, Fuentes is more like it's Jack coming off than anything. But yeah, so this is quite an interesting, quite, I honestly, from my point, I like very, not very surprising uh, kind of, turn of events so multiple sources inside and outside of Yee's formerly known as Kanye West Yee's political apparatus confirm that Milo Yiannopoulos is no longer a part of the day-to-day -day political operations of Yee24. Sources say a rift has developed between Nick Fuentes and uh, Milo Yiannopoulos and that Milo tried to get Nick fired from the campaign. That's not too understandable Nick is out of the two of them probably the worst is it the worst person? Well, like Milo was just well, he's not he's not gay anymore. Well, obviously, we know he still very much is. Um, yeah. So were they Nick trying to fuck him all the way around? Uh, I mean, like both fuck him over in a political sense and in a physical sense as well. But yeah, he's been kicked off. So sources say this riff was developing even prior to the Tim Paul. So very early on. Obviously, Milo's probably the more politically minded out of the two of them. Like, Nick Fuentes is just a fucking groper online that posts shit and chats shit. That's all he pretty much does. So, so literally, try and see if there's any more news articles about this. But at the moment, the only thing I can find is like TMZ or um, any fucking Yahoo News. There doesn't seem to be much out at the moment. So, I'm trying to see if I can find any more. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be. It's, it's very. It, I won't lie. It probably, it probably shows the kind of the, the state he's in. That the person that's probably could do the most for him has kind of ended it. And we'd like to see even more of kind of, kind of the um, the effect that what kind of the significance of Myers to begin with. Literally, even before you start reading this article, because something that's quite interesting over here. No, oh, it's not here. I think it's up here is oh no but i have liked it so i can find it again thank god for that i shared it yeah, there we go so by the looks of it my show uh my Taylor green was texting minor yiannopolis beforehand to try to get an interview with Kanye west which is interesting because it shows the schism in the right but it's also interesting because it shows they're not going to Nick for this. They're going to Milo for it because they know that out of everything that comes to messaging, he's the person that's more on board. He's more akin to a weird Dave Rubin, as it was. A um, more extreme version of that. So it kind of seems like they don't really trust my, uh, Nick, which is understandable because he's just a fucking kid. Like, he's much younger than me. So, yeah, so that is from politically provoked, you know, the uh, used-to-be left-wing commentator, Brittany, who's now believes in the Great Replacement Theory. So I think this is something to kind of look at before going back into the Milo stuff. ...me the other day, and then on her show today. Yeah, we just and, saw that. Um, and here's the funny thing. A week ago, she was texting Milo and saying that she wanted to come to the office. Okay? So people don't know that, but... Which isn't surprising, you know, you know my child agree in the whole Jewish space laser situation... Her being anti-Semitic is not a fucking surprise either. Even though she used to, she used to compare herself to the treatment of the Jews, which she quite clearly doesn't understand. A week ago, Milo was saying, oh, Marjorie is texting me. She wants to come out to the Yay 24 office and visit. And in the back of my head, I said, you know what? I said, she is the thirstiest, like... Because obviously she's been to Nick Friends' events before, not... not she probably had an inkling, she probably knows he was a white nationalist, but not how far along he was. And obviously, after going to his Groiper event, there was denying that she actually knew what he was and he like what his views actually were. And you, like, she, 
and and predictably, you know, when it was cool, she was about it. When it was cool, she was gonna race over to LA to get to the office to appear cool and get attention. And then when the pressure got too hot, oh, then she fled back. Oh, never mind, never mind. Now I don't want to go. <laughs> so that's quite. This is the rest of it. Now I denounce Nick Fuentes, and it's like. Okay. Which isn't the first time she's announced him, let's face it. So, again, when it was... When it was but also, Nick's picking it about him. She didn't want to see you by the sounds of it. She wanted to talk to Milo. It was the hottest thing in the world. Uh, she would do anything to be a part of it. But then, the second that it got a little bit uncomfortable, when, you know, the swastikas came out, then she goes... Oh, well, not, not even before the That's the funny thing, thing that Britney's laughing about this whole situation, where she shows like, yeah, yeah she's Then she goes, oh, act that. actually, I denounce. And it's just so predictable. Like, and, and I asked a buddy of mine this question the other day. I said, has she ever done anything that shows good character in her? Well, no, because like most Republicans, they're out for themselves, uh, only themselves. Let's face it, even like Nick's out from, well, Nick's probably partly out for himself. He's also probably like very much for, you know, white race kind of thing. But Kanye's definitely out for himself. He's not giving a shit about anyone else. So, yeah, Kanye West, going back into it, reportedly boots out Milo from his campaign team. Seen there, seen, um, does it get there? But yeah, so Kanye West reportedly should, uh, at least one alt right figure. Come on, team. He's not all right. He's called him a fucking Nazi at this point, or like a white nationalist. Just literally just end it there. Uh, but it's not necessarily the guy uh, you might want to see uh, go first. Obviously, they're thinking Nick. There's a lot of people think Nick Fentes, but Nick Fentes is a yes man. It's going to be. Well, I think Milo is probably like, no, this is this is the shit you need to kind of focus on. So, per Daily Beast Journal, will sum up, Milo Yiannopoulos has been fired from the news campaign team just following his crash and burn interview with Alex Jones. Because that interview's fucked him. Like, that's the thing, he's not going to get anywhere. He might pull some fanatics, but at the same time, a lot of it's going to... Like, a lot of people that, that would vote for Kanye would vote for Trump. Because the, the, uh, the, the Republican machine knows that DeSantis is the, is the one you got to pick. But I don't think... But Republican voters and kind of the GOP itself seems to be very much out of sync with each other at the moment. So it's quite interesting to see what's going to go on going forward. So this is Will Summer from Daily Beast. Uh, Summer says that Miley was booted after a series of disaster media appearances, as we know, uh, praising Hitler. So I'm guessing Miley was probably like, yeah, I'm fucking out of this. Or basically called, probably called uh, Kanye a retard, which is right to do. So Milo wrote that there was a mutual conclusion reached that he ought to step away, and it sounds like he has. So it's, I wouldn't know if they've got dirt on each other. They probably have got shit on each other. So the question, uh, so the question, what about Nick Fenter, self-proclaimed white nationalist who's uh, had uh, used ear for several weeks or so? Someone reports the status in his camp isn't quite as clear, but susp suspects the dude's probably safe for now. It's rising, Jesus Christ. Is it the video? Minute Highways. Obviously, we've already seen this. Oh, yeah. Let's see a bit of the uh, in his ear. We're doing to you with the contracts. And you can love what we're, you know, what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, no. invented the very microphone that I use as a musician. You can't say no, I love No, he didn't. Again, just lies being espoused. So, friend test alongside Kanye joining it. Obviously, knew that. Uh, which seems to suggest that the stage happened over the past few days. Then again, uh, we've got video of NF at an, an in and out um, two days ago without Kanye in sight. So who knows what's going on? Doesn't that's Nick Fuentes? Um, as for Milo, where it's probably for the best, despite his efforts to get Kanye on different conservative leaning podcasts of late, a lot of that crumbled, like when he walked off the set of Tim Paul's podcast. So it's by the looks of it, it's Milo's the one setting this all up. And um, obviously, he sees Miley stepped away. He's seen Aiden Ross, you know the Aiden Ross, the guy that can't say plans or anything. Don't blame him for that m much, but you know, you're on stream. He's about to read things. So yeah, no word if he was holding that against Milo as opposed to uh, as you know himself. But in any case, it sounds like Kanye wants to pursue the presidency without him. And yes, that does in fact have to be a thing. That's it. Yahoo, any more? Anything else? Um, seems to be about it. Storming out, Yiannopoulos, exit, Mark Lightsing, Trees, Rappers Camp, 
It's like Game of Thrones and every day is a red wedding to the conservative figure familiar with the internal politics of music uh, entourage. So, um, e uh, even before Yiannopoulos firing, attention has been, uh, become public between him and Fuentes after Yiannopoulos. So, by the sounds of it, oh, it continues. Again, it seems to be next to one undermining everything. That weasel's like, knows how to put pin people against each other by the sounds of it. And a kind of friction probably rubbed off. And Milo's got booted, even though Milo would be the sensible one to keep. Uh, so any suggestion? So Yiannopoulos disputed the claim. What was this? On Sunday afternoon, allegations emerged in the far-right media that Yiannopoulos was fired. So it, it wasn't fired. They, they're just like, yeah, I'm going to leave. And then, well, probably Kanye went, you should, probably should leave. And it's like, right, yes, I should leave. Goodbye. Thank you. So it wasn't outright fired. Um, so I'm not, so yeah, so I'm not at least a bit drawn in by perks and private jet, you know, said, maybe the others are, well, Fuentes definitely is, so Sherry's throwing a bit of shade on Fuentes there, saying, oh, he's brought in by all this, like, fancy new shit. So Yiannopoulos was an odd fit for Yee's camp, in, in part bec uh, because he had a history of bashing the rapper before joining him. Well, he's a conservative, as long as it furthers his aims and his political views, he doesn't give a shit. Far-right activist like Laura Loomer, who we saw earlier, who is feuding with Yiannopoulos, recently leaked direct messages that uh, purport to show Yiannopoulos insisting that Yi is gay. Oh, that's the thing, though. Like, the whole... Like, they're, they're, they're all gay. So, you know, Nick Fentes, like, lover of fanboys, is gay. Yiannopoulos is gay. And Kanye is gay. And they're all in the closet, and this is all, like, a front for them. I don't know if I believe, like, that much. But definitely, like, they're not all straight. An interesting thing people kind of forgot about, but when Kanye was dating Amber Rose, years, like decades ago now, when he started date, when Kanye started dating Kim K, Amber started shading Kanye, saying, yeah, he really likes doing butt stuff. So, there is that, and then she got shit on for that, because obviously it's like, you're, you're shaming someone, open, like, someone's, uh, what, like, in the bedroom openly, which, yeah, like, shit, shit, she said that, but at the same time, it gives an inkling to be like, you never know. So, uh, yeah, they're all very much probably gay. Uh, yeah. Now, but there's also the history of secret, of secret recording his one-time allies. This is going to be interesting to see what comes up. But, yeah, as I said in my previous video, shit, it's just non-stop with the story every single day. Like, this story's only been out for a few hours now. To kind of keep it like, I'll try and keep people in the best sleep I have, but this is a story that's unfolding quite rapidly. So, yeah, and hopefully, I'll be streaming in a week. I fucking hope this next weekend. Get internet sorted out, Virgin Media were good. Now they just don't think our routine doesn't seem to be working. But yeah, so I was, this is the Wall Stream. Peace. See ya.